Imagine that an architecture firm wants to build a new school for your town. The architects create a blueprint that outlines the design of the building, and construction workers use the specifications to communicate with suppliers about the materials needed for the project. As the materials come in, the workers construct the building, and soon there's a brand new school for the community to use. The basic principle of protein synthesis is quite similar to this building process. Communities need schools to grow and thrive, and cells need proteins for the same reason. And just as workers need a blueprint to complete a project, cells need a blueprint to construct protein. This blueprint is called ribonucleic acid, or RNA, which is made up of small molecules called nucleotides, and plays many important roles in cellular function. One such role is the building of new proteins for the cell, a process known as protein synthesis. There are three types of RNA that aid in protein synthesis, mRNA, rRNA, and tRNA. Let's look at how each contributes to the two steps of the process, transcription and translation. The brain of the cell is deoxyribonucleic acid, or DNA. It holds all the important information regarding the cell. DNA lives inside a safe structure called the nucleus, which is much like the skull in that it keeps the brain safe. Together, the DNA and nucleus control all cell function by sending messages to the cell, directing it to make proteins, which are needed for cell structures and function. To make protein, we first need to make copies of DNA to send to the cell, a process called transcription. The original DNA is held safely in the nucleus, and the copies of DNA are called messenger RNA or mRNA. Now the cell is ready to make proteins in a step called translation, which involves reading mRNA to make proteins. The mRNA leaves the nucleus and enters a ribosome, the site of protein synthesis. Each ribosome is made of a protein and ribosomal RNA, or rRNA, which reads the mRNA. The ribosome acts like a tiny factory that pumps out proteins. After reading the mRNA, the rRNA sends for the types of materials it needs, that is, the amino acids that comprise proteins. There are 20 different types of amino acids, and each protein needs specific ones arranged in a specific order. A molecule called transfer RNA, or tRNA, brings the correct amino acids to the ribosome, which then assembles the amino acids into a final protein. The protein is then folded with the help of other proteins in the cell and then shipped to where it needs to go. DNA contains the instructions for protein synthesis, which is the process of creating proteins, the building blocks of all cellular structure and functions. During protein synthesis, DNA is copied to mRNA in the nucleus. The mRNA is shipped out of the nucleus to the ribosome, which is made of rRNA. The rRNA reads the mRNA and tells the tRNA to get the amino acids needed to build the protein. After the tRNA brings amino acids back, the ribosome assembles them into a final, complete protein, which is then shipped to where it is needed.